All right, I'm just crawling out of my cave. Um, I've been I've been locked in that room for practically the last month, and I'm only now starting to see the light of day. Long story short is I got a ton of work, and um, I'm really grateful, uh, but it's meant that I've kind of had to put a stop on making videos for this channel just temporarily. But that's all gonna change now. So I'm gonna to put together some videos on cost of living comparisons between how it was when we lived in Ontario to how it is now. To talk about things like land taxes, groceries, insurance, all the sort of uh, bills that rack up over, over time and uh, whether it's affordable compared to where we used to live. I also wanted to make uh, a video on our house and what it's like inside you know, compared from when we moved in to what it's like now. It's not quite ready yet, we're still working on it. Uh, I wanna make silly videos like mowing the lawn. <laughs> that sounds so lame, but it's a huge operation and I just have a push mower. And every time I'm mowing the lawn, these thoughts go through my head of, uh, wow, it would be amazing if I had a ride on mower. I just wanna show you our sort of life experiences of, of being here. Hey, oh, there, there's a, um, a smoke, smoke shed right here. We haven't touched this. I don't know how to use a smoke shed. Don't even know how to open a smoke shed. So yeah, this is our uh, this is our smoker. I mean, it's big enough that you can smoke a human. We're not going to do that, but um, I think it's pretty neat. I'm going to use it one day, hopefully. The point of this video, other than just a sort of life update, is to talk about Scottish culture in Nova Scotia. Obviously, Nova Scotia is New Scotland, and this kind of sounds dumb. Uh, but it wasn't until I looked at an old map which had Newfoundland, New Scotland, New England that it became painfully obvious that this was just basically the, you know, the British before they were probably before the Act of Union, but the, the Scots and the English and, and the Welsh and the Irish, they were migrating over here and they were just basically making a new version of their country. Uh, you know, just a, a newer model basically. Their culture came with them, and it's still alive and well in Nova Scotia today. We went on July 1st to a small town called Pugwash. And so this is the video that uh, I, I wanted to make on um, Scottish culture on, on Canada Day in Pugwash. So we're out here in Pugwash, um, checking out the Canada Day celebrations. There's a strong culture of um, Scottish heritage running throughout this province, obviously. They have a tradition of Highland Games and other sort of Scottish heritage activities, such as tossing the cable or, you know, playing bagpipes and walking down the street in your traditional kilt. And we came out here to see what this place is like and um, just to soak up Nova Scotian culture and to enjoy July in this part of the world. We are halfway through the year. I've been filming for uh, a small film company in the area. They sent me to Stan Rogers Festival. It's called Stan Fest and it's in Canso, Nova Scotia. So I spent some time filming the festival for this company and I got to meet some of the uh, musicians who perform there. And it's a whole new world of folk music that, I mean, I've, I've been a fan of folk music for a long time, but I didn't know who any of these people were. This was all completely new to me. There's like an underbelly of uh, Nova Scotian folk. And it's kind of like, I, I kept telling myself, it's kind of like the soundtrack to the province. Uh, this province comes with its own music. And, and it's obviously sort of tied to the sea. It's tied to the land. It's tied to the, you know, the people who inhabit here and where they've come from. Uh, I'm used to folk music from the UK. And this was kind of like a... Uh, it's a nice link that ties me back to home. Even though I'm Canadian, 
I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm British. So it was, it was a nice, it was a nice link to, um, to connect me back home and uh, make me feel more at home in this province. And so here's a little bit of footage or, um, I don't know what I'll put together. I didn't record much personally. Most of it was for the film company, but, but this is what I got. Sunrise meets those tired eyes. Forgive me if I do surmise that someday I'll be Dixie bound. <laughs> Buttermilk and silk are the I see from the high. Well, I do. So I don't know who the guy playing guitar is. If anyone does know his, his first name's Scott, but I, I don't know his last name. What? If anyone knows his name, uh, just comment below. And, uh, and that's about it. I, d I don't really have much more at the moment. I, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to put some more videos out there and keep you updated on uh, what it's like living in this really amazing um, patch of land on the east coast of Canada. I just remembered the other thing I wanted to say. Music's been a huge part of my life, and so I wanted to put some more videos out there with music in them. And there's a link here to a song that I, probably the last song that I wrote a couple of years ago. And, um, and so yeah, I want to put a little bit more on the channel that relates to who I am, who my family is, and um, yeah, that sort of thing. There you go.